How's it going? Motor City Miner here coming at you from my house again. Um, still not at the new farm full time. Uh, still kind of a mess there since we just moved in. Um, but I actually set up all my flock nodes at my house anyway because my house actually has the required upload speeds whereas my warehouse location does not currently. Um, hopefully we'll get fiber there in the near future but right now all my flux nodes are at my house. Now, I have a new flux node, the SenseCap M4 Square. Um, figured I'd keep expanding as I already have a few. Um, we can actually go check those out real quick. Uh, so let's head on over to the unfinished side of the basement. Just kidding, none of the sides are finished. That's just fake floor over there. But, um, so we actually have two flux boxes back from when DJ Mines and Upsilon Mining uh, sent those out and for purchase. So I have two of those. Uh, they've been running great. Um, but figured it was time to get a few more, especially since I have quite a large amount of flux just sitting around doing nothing. And uh, figured I'd get one of these sense cap guys uh, from Seed Studio. I'll put a link down below. Um, but yeah, figured we'd do a quick unboxing and, you know, see how easy this process is compared to the flux box. Um, the flux box was pretty quick and easy, but um, I hear that this is even easier, especially since there's an app. So I'm excited to try this out. So let's, uh, let's get this open. The box is a little mangled. Um, we'll say that. Uh, Seed Studio, you should probably put these inside of a box, not inside of, it was just like in those like, UPS bubble wrap um, package things rather than in a box. So, it, well, it's a little mangled, but I think it's all just superficial just on the outside here. So, slip off this cover. There we go. Still got to work on the one hand skill. Uh, so, looks like we do have one piece of tape. Let's see if we can do this one handed. There we go. Look at that. We managed it one-handed poorly, but we did get it open. So let's check it out. All right, so we open up and we got cool little stickers. Nice. Instruction booklet. Cool little symbol here. Uh, all right. And then this is our machine. Uh, these, these are not scratches. There's a protective film on here. So, probably just on there. But, we got our little raspberry pie, raspberry orange, whatever it is in there. Um, this is pretty, uh, pretty tiny, but actually pretty heavy. Heavy for its size. I'm actually impressed. And this is actually a steel, not plastic. So, that's definitely kind of cool. Um, let's see what else is in here. Looks like this is probably our power supply, I would guess. Sorry, working with limited desk space everywhere at the moment. No desk space at the new farm. Stuff on all the tables. No desk space down here because I'm not even supposed to be here. All right. So, looks like we got... Yep, so this is the power supply in here. Let's go ahead and take that out. One of those bags was the power supply. The other bag was all your attachments for the power supply so it can work in any jurisdiction around the world. So we will be using our American 120 volt one right here. Uh, so we can put that in there and get that set up. So we're going to put this over with my other units and get this all plugged in and then we'll see how easy the setup is and kind of go a little walk through there all right so we're over at my other two flux boxes uh with the new sense cap m4 on top uh we're about ready to plug it in uh just wanted to point out so it does say on the instructions to put in the ethernet 2 port not the one for some reason so we did put in there. Um, we just need to insert our little power cable here. And bring 
go. We're good. Um, the instructions do say that we are waiting for one minute until we get a steady orange light. So we'll wait to see that happen. In the meantime, uh, flipping ahead, I did actually already install the SenseCap app. So that's what you would do next is make sure that you have that on your phone. So I got my other phone here. I already signed up for all this stuff, um, but obviously you'd have to make an account if you don't have one. All right, so, and we kind of already opened it. So you pop the top off, uh, magnetic cover. So we're just kind of waiting for that orange, that orange light. So I'll give it a minute and be back here once it all started up. All right, so we do got the orange steady light now. So now we're gonna do the Bluetooth, which apparently requires me, and it does walk you through this both in the physical instructions and in the app, so I'm kind of showing in both. Uh, but the Bluetooth button looks like it's that button right there. And we're gonna have to hold that until the L2 uh, flashes. So we're just gonna go ahead and it's this this button right there we're just gonna hold that down all right we got the bluetooth button uh light lighting up all right so we're jumping back over here so we're scanning for the device Press the wrong button there. Try that again. Wow. And we're going to do while we use that. All right, it's found our node. So we're going to select that there. We're going to do the flux app, not helium. So we'll click on that. It is now installing. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Uh, it looks like we're at. 30% so seems to be going pretty quickly um, in the meantime we'll prep here for our next steps uh, looks like we're just waiting for uh, this so the next step is what all related to um, actually like inputting your collateral transaction ID your Zelle ID uh, Kadena address all that other fun stuff so I'm not gonna uh, you know, show that um, in this video just because that's all personal information. Um, but once we have that all done, we'll jump back here um, for the final steps anyway um, and get going. All right, so we are now back. Um, I input, you know, all my transaction ID, uh, Zelle ID, all that other stuff that you got to do uh, to lock up your flux. Um, so it is just, you know, slowly going through the deploy process in the SenseCap app. Um, so you can see where uh, it got through the first couple steps there real quickly. Sorry, this is kind of blurry. Um, there we go. So you can see initialize environment, verify configuration. Now it's uh, installing a blockchain snapshot. This step should probably take some time. Uh, it has to download the blockchain, so we'll probably have to pause here for a moment um, until it gets on to the next step, but I will let you know once we get past this step. All right, we finally finished installing the blockchain snapshot. It took about maybe eight minutes here or so. Um, I have gigabit internet, uh, so your speed will vary. Um, we're now into initializing blocks. Um, we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully it's a little quicker since it shouldn't have to download anything. Uh, but I'll cut back once it has gotten done with step four. All right, so it did just finish step four, initializing blocks. So we're now into step five, sync and start. Um, does have a redeploy option now, but I'm pretty sure we don't want to be doing that. I think that's if there was an issue. Um, so I'm not sure what we do now. It didn't really prompt me 
and it's not giving a percent here of like progress on that i'm gonna check real quick in zellcore if i can now start the node and maybe that's all it's waiting for um so i'll be right back after i try that in zellcore and sure enough the second i start filming it did complete that step so i guess that final step it just doesn't give you a progress bar for, for whatever reason but it does eventually finish and now we're all set um so the next step is to go into Zellcore and then actually start your node. Um, again, I would look on any of the Zellcore official um, pages and videos for how to, you know, lock up your flux as collateral and actually uh, start a node. But um, we'll be right back after we get that started. All right, so we finished up in the Zellcore app. Uh, this guy's all ready to go. Can't quite start it yet. Uh, you do need 100 confirmations on that lockup transaction. Um, I'm not quite there yet. You know, that takes about a good, uh, what is that, three hours or so. Um, so, going to be a little while. But, yeah, other than that, I mean, it was a pretty quick setup. Again, I do have fast download speeds here with gigabit internet, so your times may vary. But all in all, it was like maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, and yeah, just really like this unit. Uh, these are, like I said, are my older flux boxes from the flux node store, DJ mines. Uh, they no longer sell these. Um, but this guy, uh, definitely a little easier than these. Uh, these, you have to go into the multi-tool and whatnot in Linux. Um, this guy, you know, it's all in the app, pretty straightforward. Um, just switching back and forth between the Zellcore and the Sense cap, um, app. But yeah, really small form factor, uh, even smaller than these flux boxes. So yeah, no, cool little thing. Um, eventually we'll have eight flux nodes total, so I'll have six of these. Um, but you know, <laughs> as with everything right now, uh, it's all a work in progress. Lots going on, especially at the new farm. So, uh, but yeah, if you are interested in a cumulus you know, plug and play solution. This is about as close as it gets. It's not quite plug and play, uh, but pretty close. Uh, so that's about it for today. So, you know, like, subscribe, and comment down below if you run any flux nodes uh, or are interested in it. Uh, like I said, uh, there's plenty of content creators that have done how to's and whatnot, uh, depending on what you're trying to use. Um, so, yeah, but that's about it. So, until next time.